The Maunolink software is available for Windows, Mac and Android, so you could record with this microphone to your computer or your Android phone. Uh, so let's have a look at it. You uh, have two uh, panels available in this software. They're standard and advanced. Uh, standard is uh, really a you choosing from a number of presets. Advanced gives you the ability to go into some of the settings and make changes. So uh, let's look at the standard mode. Um, at the top of the panel, you can see, uh, well, you can see where you can change from standard and advanced. Uh, next down, you've got the mute button, which uh, mirrors the one on the microphone itself. So let me just switch that and now come back to me. Uh, next to the mute button, you've got the level indicator. You want to stay within the green, um, the amber, you're starting to overload in the red, you're definitely overloading. So a risk of clipping your audio once you get up into the amber and red. So next is the headphone volume. Um, I'm using the headphone volume at 100%, but if your ears are more sensitive than mine, you could could bring it down. So the next thing is the monitor mix, and that's really the balance of uh, the level from the microphone and the level from the uh, computer. Next up, you've got a section on the tone. Um, you've got a choice of four different presets. Uh, the one that I'm using at the moment is Deep. Um, this I suppose is more rem reminiscent of uh, that uh, radio uh, broadcast style uh, that you'd recognize from um, microphones that uh, the radio industry uses. Then you've got natural. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is just no EQ at all uh, and no processing. Um, it could be that uh, there is a little bit of EQ being applied uh, and maybe uh, some limiting, but uh, I'm not sure wh whether that's the case or not. Uh, next to that, you've got Bright. And what Bright does, uh, as uh, the name suggests, it brightens up your, your audio. There's less of that uh, bass and some of the higher frequencies uh, uh, will be added or boosted. And uh, that just allows your voice to cut through a mix if you've got other things uh, in the background. Finally, you've got Legacy. Whatever Legacy is, you've got it there as well. So let's go back to Deep and Below the tone section, you've got uh, the distance, uh, the distance that you're going to be using this from. And you've got three presets, uh, near, mid and far. When you've got the near button selected, then uh, Mauno obviously think that you're going to be between five and 10 centimeters away. That's two to four inches. Um, if you select uh, mid, um, you'll notice my uh, level has just gone up. That's because um, it's uh, been adjusted for you being uh, further away from the microphone. And uh, Mauno are suggesting that you're 11 centimeters to 30 centimeters away. So that's four inches to 12 inches away. Finally, and I'll try and cut my level a little because uh, Obviously, as you go from near, mid, and then to far, the mic gain has been increased. And at the far setting, Mauno are assuming that you're going to be between 31 and 60 centimeters away. So that's between a foot and two foot. Um, however, I would use the near preset most of the time because um, I use this microphone at a distance of four to six inches away. And that's when you will get the cleanest audio because your voice will be the dominant uh, sound. And by the input uh, signal being turned down, less of the ambient sound and the background noise will be picked up. It will be mostly your voice. So uh, on the near setting, that's where you'll get your cleanest audio. Right, so that's the standard panel. We can go over to the uh, advanced and you can hear that my level's gone up because uh, um, it's um, set to a higher level than we had in the standard. So uh, let me take that down a, a little bit. Um, now, at the top, you have got the same um, basic three 
things that you have in the standard panel. You've got the meter with the mute button, uh, then the headphone volume and the monitor mix. So I'll not go over those again. Next down, you've got the EQ section. And uh, here you've got th four presets, uh, which is actually a little bit disappointing because this is meant to be the advanced section. So I wouldn't expect to be using presets. Um, but uh, what uh, Mauno have given us here is uh, a flat setting. So uh, presumably no EQ is being applied at all. This is just how it's uh, coming from the uh, from the microphone. Then you've got a high pass filter. Uh, so what this is doing is it's cutting off the low frequencies. Next to that, the uh, preset is the uh, presence boost. Now the uh, presence boost will probably be lifting the frequencies in the four to six kilohertz range uh, and this will allow your voice to cut through uh, the mix if you've got other things uh, playing at the same time. The final preset is a mix of the high pass filter and the presence boost. Um, now um, whether you like this or not, I don't know. Um, the the uh, high pass filter is useful uh, to minimize uh, background noise. So if you've got rumbling traffic outdoors or there's um, low frequency noises coming through the wall because someone's watching a TV or, or whatever on the other side of the wall, it can be useful for that. But I would probably select the flat um, preset and in my recording software I would adjust the EQ uh, there where I've got more control. Um, below the EQ section you've got the gain control and um, uh, obviously as you drag it down my level goes down is as you drag it further up my level goes up and um, I found that uh, uh, if I have this at around between 70 and 80, uh, that when I record into Adobe Audition, that roughly equates to uh, peaking at around minus 12 dB. It's a pity that the uh, uh, meters on this software um, don't actually have any numbers on them. It would be nice to know uh, where you're uh, peaking, not just that you're somewhere in the green or you're into the amber and red. Uh, next down, you've got uh, two really good features. Uh, you've got a limiter and compressor. To activate these, you would uh, click on these uh, little boxes at the side. Um, I'm going to just uh, show you the uh, limiter first. Now you'll notice that there are three little dots on the right hand side of the slider. If I click on that you will go into the uh, um, settings of the limiter. The uh, slider on the left that's the threshold and that's a slider that you uh, can see in the previous panel uh, in the advanced panel um, and the threshold is the level of which the limiter kicks in. So um, if I'm recording um, and wanting to record at, at about uh, minus 12 dB, um, I could bring the uh, threshold down to say around 12 dB and the effect would be that um, if I have any uh, uh, spikes above uh, 12 dB, the limiter will help to uh, bring that down and prevent my audio clipping. The attack and release, I would leave those uh, where they are um, unless you're wanting to have some uh, specific effects. If you're wanting uh, like a, a hard wall uh, limiter, you could take the attack all the way down to uh, zero and then the, the uh, limiter would kick in as soon as that uh, spike comes in, whereas uh, at 100 milliseconds, it just delays it a little bit and the release is when the limiter stops. Uh, so once you've made your settings, if you make any settings, then just click on uh, uh, confirm and you'll go back to the previous screen. If uh, you've made uh, uh, changes and you don't know what you've done, uh, just press the reset and uh, you can go back. So 
I will click on confirm and you'll notice that the uh, limiter slider is uh, in the position where I had the threshold uh, in the settings. Uh, next down, you've got the compressor. I'll activate that by pressing, uh, clicking on that uh, box. And again, you can see that I've got uh, three, but uh, three dots here. So, click on that, and you can see all your settings. You've got a few more than you had on the uh, on the limiter. Uh, limiters and compressors, they're very similar, uh, and you can use a compressor to behave as a limiter, but. Uh, um, in this case, um, I, I would be using the compressor to add that kind of boomy um, effect, uh, that big boomy uh, sound to your voice. Again, uh, threshold um, determines when the uh, compressor will kick in. So um, I will bring it down to, I don't know, about minus 20 something uh, and then uh, the re release and uh, attack um, I would uh, leave more or less where they are uh, the one thing that uh, I would change here is the compression rate they call it compression rate I would call it compression ratio and you'll notice that uh, it's actually expressed as a ratio here and what that uh, means is that uh, uh, if it's say a two to one compression, then uh, for every two dB uh, increase in the signal coming in, uh, it'll only be a one dB increase going out. So um, if I took this all the way to 20 dB, for instance, um, not only should you hear a slight difference to uh, the sound of my voice, but now what's happening is that for 20 dB increase in the signal, uh, the output's only going out, uh, going up by uh, 1 dB. So I could actually speak very loudly into this and I'm not peaking. So, uh, but the main use of a compressor really is to um, give that oomph, if, uh, for want of another word, uh, to your voice. It, it makes it more boomy. Um, I would tend to usually not go more than about 10 to 1, um, possibly uh, 4 to 1. Uh, that should be more than enough. So once you've said that, click on Confirm. And you can see that uh, the threshold uh, slider has been adjusted here as well. So those are the settings in the uh, advanced panel of the, of the Mauno Link software. Finally, I've got other videos about the Mauno PD400X coming up. Once they're ready, I'll put a link up on the screen. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss any of my new videos, smash that notification bell. Also, I'd like to say a big thank you to all my viewers who have used the links down in the description to support this channel. Thank you very much. It really is much appreciated. Until next time, keep on creating.